In this video I'm going to show you how to make 6x6 bingo cards using software called Bingo Card Printer which you can download from bingocardprinter.com The software is compatible with all recent versions of Windows on the PC including Windows 8 um, It's not compatible with Windows RT which is what you use on a handheld tablet uh, Anyway, here's the main screen of the software um, What I'm going to do is I'm going to create, say, create new bingo card project and I have a choice of what kind of bingo card I'd like to create I can use any of these templates, so for example I can start from blank, enter my own words, choose ones with US standard letters, um, different school subjects like English, um, so there's words here, geography, science, maths, literature. Um, I can also uh, use ones related to holidays like uh, 4th of July, Canada Day and so on. And I could either use these as they are or I could use them as a starting point and modify them. But what I've decided to do is I'm going to use a blank bingo card and enter my own words. Now I'm going to use words that you might use in an uh, English reading lesson or in an English as second language lesson. Um, so uh, what I'll do here is I'll type in my own words. So the first thing I do is I'm going to choose the size of the bingo card. I'm going to choose a 6x6 bingo card which you can preview here. And I'm going to enter some words. Now I've already got some words in my head that I'm going to type in. So I'm going to type in apple. Uh, uh, let's have a go. Uh, bear. Cat. Egg, foot, and or you see I've already thought of some words before I uh, planned ahead a little bit. Cap, maybe dart, eagle, frog. Now I'm I'm actually going to A B C D E F every time, but it doesn't have to be in that order. I can enter many order at all. So let's do it. Show you that I'll do bat and then heart. So there's a not in alphabetical order there. Coin. Let's maybe do a few more. I'll do a few, in, uh, a few more A's. All again. Aim. And you see the number of items is displayed all the time here. So a few B's, maybe bug, uh, bag, uh, cloud, chop, uh, cup. Uh, maybe I'll do a dip, dig, door. A few E's. and a few F's, and a flap, a flip, and finger. Now you can see here the sample bingo card has got the words in the same order as on this list, and the real bingo card's word will be randomly arranged. What I can also do is I can, uh, if I made a mistake here, I could highlight a word and delete it, I can add more, I can have I have tools for rearranging the order here, like randomize, moving individual up and down, and so forth, I can also sort them. So they're in alphabetical order now, uh, and they're all alphabetical here on the sample. As I say, the real bingo card will um, contain them in different columns. I've already chosen a 6x6 bingo card. I can change the heading if I want as well, change the word bingo to something else. Um, if it was an odd number, there could also there would be a middle square, which I could accept to be the, uh, if the bingo card was an odd number across and down, there would be a middle square. Uh, which I could set to be the free space. Um, so if I made it, made it five by five, you'll see here there's a free space. On a six by six, because it's an even number, there's no middle square, no free space automatically. Um, I can also customize the, the colors and appearance using the format menu. So for example, I can change the fonts or colors. Let's change the square colors. Maybe we'll uh, make the squares um, pink and we'll make it a checkerboard pattern. I always like to do that on pink and white. And we'll make the heading um, blue with, uh, let's say, yellow text, and we'll make the lines uh, green. So hopefully you'll be able to see I've used lots of different colours there. Obviously I could go back and change that if I didn't, wasn't happy with it. I could change the fonts as well. Um, if I, um, I'll just turn this off for now, I'll come back to it. If I show you print preview, you'll see the words are arranged randomly here. Now at the moment the words are arranged anywhere on the bingo card. A's can be in the first column, B's can be in the second, are not necessarily in the second column. A's can be anywhere, B's can be anywhere, whatever. I can also um, use this feature here. If I organize these into columns, what it will do, it will do the, because I've got six items, the first one six, which is six out of 36, will be in column one. The next one six will be in column two. And the next one six will be in column three. So because I've got six A's, six B's, whatever, um, it will make sure. Now if I had, um, as long as it was a multiple of six, uh, I could have had more items than that and it would work nicely. So if I had another A, another B, another C, another D, another E and so on, it would work uh, um, 
that every column had a um, arrangement of words beginning with that letter. Um, I can turn that off and then it will be random again on the bingo card. Uh, now, I, I didn't show you this here. These are the options relating to printing here. First option is whether or not to print the call list. That's basically this list of words in random order. Very useful if you're using the bingo cards in a classroom situation. Um, you can turn it on or off. I'll leave it on so you can see what it looks like. You don't have to use it. Um, if you use it, um, uh, you get that printed sheet. If you don't use it, there are other ways of um, getting the software to help you choose bingo uh, words, which I'll show you at the end. Or you could, of course, choose the words out of a hat or choose them based on some other method. Um, second option is how many bingo cards to print per page. If I want to save paper, I can print several bingo cards on a page. Quite useful if you've got a large class. Uh, and you don't have to give one bingo card to each student. You don't want to use uh, a whole stack of paper for them. Uh, so you print several per page. The disadvantage of printing more per page is, of course, each individual bingo card is smaller. And if you want to give one bingo card to each student, you've got four on a page, you have to cut the paper up. Although each page is arranged the same, so you can just use a guillotine or something to cut them up easily. But I'll stick to one for now so you can easily see um, what's going on. And finally, how many bingo cards do I want to print? Now, this is the real power of the software. Um, it allows you to print lots of customised bingo cards with a real minimal amount of effort, uh, every bingo card being different, and according to the rules you set, like whether, for example, you want to organise items into columns or not. So, for example, let's put in 100 here, and they're all going to be random. And if I do print preview, you'll be able to see, um, first of all, my call list. There's a list of words in random order. I left that turned on. Um, I'll zoom in, you can see it a bit more clearly. I'll zoom out so you can see the whole page, and then I'll do next so you see the first bingo card there. And it would print out like that, and the next page would be like that, and so on. So there's my 100 bingo cards. Every single one is different. Uh, and that's it. That's the software, Bingo Card Printer. I will just show you this another feature for um, uh, helping choose items. If you don't want to use a call list, you can say call game. What the software does is it chooses one word, displays it here, and it shows you the current item at the top and any previous items below it. So it'll choose another word at random there and so on. So each time it's choosing a random word. This is the current random word and these are the previously chosen words. Uh, so that's it. Software is called Bingo Printer. Website is bingocardprinter.com. Uh, there's a free trial download which you can download from that website. It's compatible with all recent versions of Windows on the PC, desktop or laptop uh, PC. Um, go check it out. Bingocardprinter.com. Thank you very much.